Hello, James. Back from the dead. No longer just an anonymous star on the memorial wall at MI6. What's the matter, James? No glib remark? No pithy comeback? Why? <laughs> Hilarious question. Particularly from you. Did you ever ask why? Why we toppled all those dictators, undermined all those regimes? Only to come home. Well done, good job, but sorry, old boy. Everything you risk your life and limb for has changed. It was the job we were chosen for. Of course you'd say that. James Bond, Her Majesty's loyal terrier, defender of the so-called faith. Oh, please, James, put it away. It's insulting to think I haven't anticipated your every move. Yes. I trusted you, Alec. <laughs> Trust? What a quaint idea. How did the MI6 screening miss that your parents were Leon's Cossacks? Once again, your faith is misplaced. They knew. We're both orphans, James. But where your parents had the luxury of dying in a climbing accident, mine survived the British betrayal and Stalin's execution squads. But my father couldn't let himself or my mother live with the shame of it. MI6 figured I was too young to remember. And in one of life's little ironies, the son went to work for the government whose betrayal caused the father to kill himself and his wife. Hence, Janus. The two-faced Roman god come to life. It wasn't God who gave me this face. It was you setting the timers for three minutes instead of six. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No. You're supposed to die for me. By the way, I did think of asking you to join my little scheme, but somehow I knew 007's loyalty was always to the mission, never to his friend. Closing time, James. Last call. <laughs> Pouring William James.